I'm going to do a triangle from close guard. This is definitely one of my favorite techniques. Um, so there are a lot of ways of setting it up. What I'm going to do is just do a basic variation of it for now. And uh, maybe in some up and coming videos, I will show a couple other versions of how to get there. So if I'm going for the triangle, um, an issue with, I'm going to change the angle on this. Let's, let's do it this way. Okay, so we go. Basically for the triangle to work, I need one arm in and one arm out. And there's a couple of ways of getting there. So one might literally just be me shoving a hand through and I jump up into the triangle. So this is the triangle setup position. From there, I will transfer the arm across, grab the head, make sure I'm controlling his posture, I then go foot on the hip, create an angle. This leg now chops across the neck, I grab onto my shin, and I want to grab right next to his head. From here, I make sure that my feet are activated. This leg comes over, chop, and there's the, the choke. If I want to make this tighter, I can still pull down on the head or squeeze my knees in. Right. Okay, so Nikki just made me just jump out here quickly. So when I'm going for the triangle, um, just to, I'm going to shoot it from this, this angle just so that you can kind of see what's going on with my legs. But once that chops and I grab the shin, that angle is very important, that activated foot, because this becomes a fulcrum point for when this leg comes over and chops against it. So what I want to do is I want to pull that foot back and at the same time squeeze my knees in. So you see what happens to this space here? It gets significantly smaller as I squeeze my knees in. From there, I can grab the head and I can push my hip up as well, which will make this tighter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot from a different angle again. So we'll go from this, this position. You can kind of see what's happening this side. So, close guard. Um, I'm actually going to show you another way to get there. So let's, let's, fine. let's, let's flip again. Yeah. Got to do things on my best side, you know. Because <laughs> this is the best side of my face, my right side. So I can set this up from punch block series stage one. So from here I can drop this elbow, I can work this arm off catch onto the tricep, slide the hand to his wrist and then I can basically there's a couple of ways I can either lift this up and pull the foot through so some guys do that I prefer to do this where I kick my leg straight and then I throw my leg around in a circle over the shoulder from there I'll lock my feet together I throw my hip up I clear the arm bring it across the body, catch the wrist. It's important that I do this with my knuckles facing up. If I do this like this, Nicky can just pull his hand out. If I'm like this, I kind of lock it into position. From here, I control the head. Open my guard, put onto his hip, twist, create the angle, chop the leg. The idea is to make sure that when I chop, that it's just his head or his neck in this. If I stay here, you'll see I've got a lot of his back involved. I want to take that out of the, the equation. So I chop, catch the shin, activate the feet, and there's the tap.